Hey guys, Scott Million here, and uh, in the last video I showed you how to post your content on Squidoo. Um, there's some people who are a little disappointed because they wanted to see it posted on Blogger. And uh, Blogger, I do like better because it's a blog format. You can take the RSS feed, you can submit it places. It also doesn't have any ads running on it, which is really nice. And Squidoo and Hub Pages and a lot of those other Web 2.0 sites do have a lot of distractions. So why don't we go ahead and set up a blog on Blogger this time. We're going to post the same article and uh, then this week, later this week, I'm going to actually show you how to start promoting your website or blog, okay? So the first thing you'll do is head to blogger.com, and you'll fill out, um, you'll click on get started. You'll have to fill out, sign up with an account. You do not need a Gmail account to do this. Someone was asking me about uh, Gmail and uh, verifying with their cell phone. If you don't want to do that, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't want to do that, you can just use um, any email you want. You can create a Google account and just put in a uh, your personal email. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in since I already do have an account. And let's click on the sign in button. And then the first thing I'm going to do, I've uh, deleted my old blogs that I created to just start uh, fresh here. I'm going to click on the create a blog button. And now I'm going to enter in my blog title. Now what I've done is I've already uh, written, you know, my my product review. And I know that on this blog, I'm going to just create one that's tightly focused around the Nikola Tesla secret uh, or the Tesla secret product. So all the posts on here, everything's going to be revolved around this product and potentially some other keywords. Uh, we'll write content on eventually that will uh, relate to people that are interested in purchasing the Tesla secret. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my blog title here. And I'm just going to put that in here. And now you have the option to put in your blog address. And so this is going to be H. Well, you can see that there HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then whatever phrase you want dot dot blogspot dot com. So let me go ahead and see if uh, Tesla secrets available and I have a, a good idea that it's not. Um, but we can try. OK, so it's not available. So what we can do is Tesla secret review. We basically want to try to get one of our main keywords um, as the actual part of the URL. So that doesn't work. How about Nikola Tesla secret review? Nope. Nikola, Nikola Tesla secret generator review. OK, so that's available. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with that one. Now, if you can't get your exact keyword phrase, you just want to tr oops, you just want to try to make sure that there's uh, several of your keyword phrases in here. For instance, Tesla secrets in here. Nikola Tesla is one of our keywords, um, and generator review. Those are things that are on our content that we want to rank for as well. So this blog's available. Go ahead and type in our word ver verification. And then we can choose a default design. I like the simple one. You can get more advanced if you want. Uh, I have found that simple is better uh, just because not, I just mean simple in general is better for blog layouts just because, uh, you know, the focus is really on your content and not on all these things in the sidebars and images and all that. You want obviously your uh, content where people are being converted to be the focus. So. I'm going to click on continue. In some niches, it's different. Like if you're writing stuff for World of Warcraft, uh, people in that niche are going to expect to see really awesome uh, images and graphics and all that. Or if you're in the animation niche or something like that. So just keep that in mind. But in general, simple is better. Your blog has been created. So now I can click on start blogging. Great. So we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do here is take my uh, review. Uh, I'm going to press Control A to select everything. And I'm actually going to put this in Notepad first because what can happen is, and then just copy this, we're going to paste it in. What can happen is when you format things in Microsoft Word or OpenOffice or whatever your word processor is, and you put that into um, this area here, it'll actually create this funky code. Uh, and so it's always best to just post it in something like Notepad first, copy it and paste it in. The formatting won't be there, but you can quickly go through and reformat everything. So. Uh, I'm actually, this is actually my title. I'm going to put that up there. And then the first thing you want to do is just kind of go through here and, uh, you know, bold 
or italicize a lot of the keywords that you are trying to get ranked for on this page. And as you can see, there's a little YSIG, just like Microsoft Word. Uh, and this I'm going to actually have be my affiliate link to the, let's go to clickbank.com. It's going to be my actual affiliate link. <clears throat> so let me grab that again real quick. And I'll show you how to post a link on Blogger, which is a lot easier than Squidoo, by the way. Um, and we'll go to Green Products. And the Tesla Secret, Promote. And I'm going to grab my <clears throat> affiliate link here, click Create. And we'll grab that affiliate link. Now I go back to Blogger, and if I want to make this a link, I can click on the Link button. And then I just right click and paste in my affiliate link there. So now this is the actual link. Now I want to show you something here where it says edit HTML next to compose. If you click on that, you can actually see the code that it put in there for you. In the Squidoo version, we actually had to type this all in. But in Blogger, it makes it a lot easier for us to just click the link button. And it'll write that code for us. Um, then I have some sub headlines here. So I forgot if Blogger allows you to do that. Uh, I usually host my own websites, and I'll show you how to host my own blogs, and I'll show you how to do that later. But it looks like um, I know there's a way to do it. But uh, for now, let's just go ahead and bold and maybe underline our subheadlines. I'm gonna. Th this is another headline. This is a sub of that. I want to make a list out of these. So there we go. Let's click on this button here. I want to fix that spacing. <clears throat> and again, this is another subheadline I have, so I'm going to bold and underline that. Normally, you'd make these different headings. I don't know how to do that in the free blogger yet. Have to fish around, but um, it's okay. It's not a deal breaker or anything. And just going to go through here and, and do this. So the Tesla secret review, that's another keyword I want to rank for based off her initial research. And to visit the Tesla secret official website, click here. I'm going to bold this and make it a link. And I have this copied from before. <clears throat> and you might actually want to go up and bold all your links. And that's another keyword. Go ahead and uh, why don't we italicize that one? <clears throat> Call it Tesla Secret Generator. Go ahead and bold that. And what this bold and italicized does is um, it just kind of helps Google to know what keywords are really important in your page, um, what you're trying to emphasize. Tesla Secret Experiment, that was another keyword. Underline works too. And uh, that's it. So it looks really nice. Now, if I want to add in an image, uh, again, go to um, Google. And just type in uh, Nikola Tesla, and that looks like a good picture. The only reason, and I can uh, copy image location. You normally wouldn't do this because it's like stealing an image, but I know that this is a public. This is a guy who's passed away. He's very, very old image. Um, I'm probably okay in uh, saving this image to my desktop and posting it on my blog without worrying about rights to the image. <clears throat> All right, let's go to Blogger, and uh, now that I've saved it, I click on this image button, and I can upload it, and Google Blogger will actually host it for me. And there's my Nikola Tesla. Click on Add Selected. And then uh, there's ways to align the image. Oh, here we go. Down here it says you can make size the image different sizes if you want and then you can align it right now it's aligned in the center let's align it to the left and then it'll wrap around our content for us and that looks really good and if we want to make this uh, image a link we can do that as well by clicking on the link oops undo okay oh if you click on the link button then you can set make the actual image a link if you want to the affiliate program I'm not going to do that because I have my uh, I have my affiliate link right here. You generally at least want an affiliate link in your first or sec second paragraph, one at the footer, and then sometimes one in the middle. Uh, looks like 
we could do it with that one if we wanted to. Uh, you don't want to fill it up with too many. Three is more than enough. Otherwise, people feel like you're kind of overselling them and whatnot. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and publish post. Click on that button on the bottom left. Now I can view my post. And uh, Nikola Tesla Secret Generator Review. And I have my own unique post here. I might want to actually go back, edit this, and, and add a space so this is on all in one line. Um, but it looks really good. And uh, just to show you <clears throat> at the top here, this is my blog URL right here. And then after that is the actual URL to the, this specific post. So this URL here, we're going to be uh, promoting in the video later this week. You guys can head to uh, profitactivity.com, click the link in the description of this YouTube video, and uh, you can get more information at my blog. And I will see you guys next week. Please subscribe.